Oh yeah. We're about to get off here. Doing some daily racing on GT Sport. Let's the Red Bull Ring, a group three race, five laps, qualifying 11th as you can see there, and the McLaren F1 GTR. Uh, still using a controller at the moment, but uh, it's fun racing. So we're starting way back, which isn't good, because at the start here, you don't want to be accelerating like in the middle of a corner. Like this corner coming up here. That's exactly what happens. But we get off. Got a couple of Aston Martins ahead. Let's chase them down. Breaking into turn one. And we make it. And we're getting right in the thick of it here with the Aston Martins. It's a massive Castrol sweeper in the back there. Oh, a lucky strike, nice. Oh, on the run up to turn three. Get sandwiched. Oh, sorry, sorry there, lucky strike. Man. Couldn't really avoid that. And we're up to ninth. Sitting behind Boothy. So yeah, I love this car. This car's really fun. It's easy to drive. Sounds good. Oh, bit of a bump there. It's close racing. And yeah, it's um, I can't wait to get on the wheel and see what this car's like behind the wheel too. Now of course, how can you not love the Red Bull Ring? Classic track. So we've got the brake bias set slightly to the rear. Um, control sensitivity all the way up. We're doing alright. Keeping up with the pack here. As we complete lap one. Oh, a bit, uh, a bit messy there. We almost lose the car completely. So that enables Lucky Strike to come back up. Oh, the backfiring Aston Martin sounds great. Oh, someone's binned it. <laughs> yeah, turn four. Turn four is tricky. You've got to break earlier than you think. It's the downhill portion of it throws people off. If someone else is in the gravel. Oh, it's all messy here. I'll make a sick move on Boothy down here. Check this out. Oh, I think he broke a bit early there. Slide across and take the position. Up to six. Start at 11th, so making progress. Chase down the uh, Supra and GTR ahead. Keep those Aston Martins behind. Some of these turns are tricky. Um, another controller too, it's, uh, it's tough. It's tough to concentrate. Maybe I'm just shit. <laughs> Lap three. Now right there, I, uh, I basically cut the turn, but I don't get a penalty because I made the turn in the first bit. Oh, yes. Sneak in on the Supra. And overtake the GTR as well, or no, he, he goes past. <laughs> Bit of a tap from the Supra there and off we go. Now I started 11th. Third's right ahead. This is brilliant. Like usually in a field where, where the drivers are sort of equally matched. You don't usually tend to make up this many positions, but I was just, just this lobby, I guess. Cutting on the inside again, like we did with the Aston Martin, and oh, it's a bit messy there. But we got it. We get third. 
I think my hands are sweating at this point. So I can't believe I'm up. I'm up the third. I think here I just completely fuck it. I just turn too early, break too weirdly, yeah. Turn too quickly, I cut the corner. Yeah, I get a, get a penalty for that. The last kind of corner was alright. Such a shame because I would have uh, well, I would have kept third. My problem was I was I was sort of concentrating too much on like, oh should I keep the guy behind me or is he gonna go for take or where do I break and I just you know. It was the first race of the day. Getting warmed up still. Yes, I will be forced to decelerate in the next penalty line. Shouldn't that be at the next penalty line? There you are. Oh, I love that corner. Hit the apex and go over the curve and off you go. GTR. Retakes that. After that penalty there. See, the guys in first and second are having their own scrap. I was uh, kind of hoping they would sort of crash or hit each other or whatever. And move up the grid even more. Because that's all you ever want. You just want to win. Oh, we've got an Aussie in first place, actually. Everyone else is Japanese or... That's uh, Thailand in first. Oh, there you go. Advantage in first. I mean, they're having a great scrap here. Meanwhile, I'm trying to... Uh, trying to stay on the track and... This is my mistake. I, I see the Corvette there and... I thought he was alongside me, but he's not quite. And I thought I braked appropriately here. It was just before the 100 meter mark. I don't know, maybe I could have braked a bit later. I was on the inside. So from third to fifth in well less than a lap. It's still a good comeback from eleven. Starting starting eleven. Oh never mind. There goes the GDR. See you, mate. Oh, and just saw on the minimap there, the GDR just slamming too late on the brakes. Oh, there goes the Aston Martin. The unlucky spin <laughs> for the lucky strike. Oh, from the dirty line with the marbles. It's not nice. So, oh, urgency now to, to keep the car behind and not fuck up and, and fuck it up. Like right there, it's just that was too much turning. But it's all good. I'm keeping on the track. Oh jeez, that was messy as well. And the guy in second's got a penalty? Or was that first? Oh we finished fourth. That's sweet. After starting eleven. Okay, so the yeah. The leader had a penalty. Corvette third? Yeah, we're fourth. I'm very happy with that. It was, a, it was a fun race, it was a good race. Good track and car combination. Uh, the, the group threes at the Red Bull Ring. Oh, love me some British racing green. Wonderful. So, today's the last day for this, uh, for the weekly races. I think tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow, Monday at 5 p.m. Everything resets. See, uh, see what shenanigans we get up to. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.